Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you on another video. All right, so the score was 136 124. The Lakers got the victory in Memphis on the second of a back to back. Definitely, definitely appreciate what our team did out there. Rui Hatamura had 32 points, 10 rebounds, could not miss from behind the arc, could not miss. Uh, Austin Reeves had, I believe, 13 points, 11 assists, or something of that nature, somewhere in that range. Fantastic. Uh, LeBron James had a triple-double tonight, 23 points, 14 assists, 12 boards maybe. Yeah, the stats are a little fuzzy in my mind. I got a heck of a headache right now. But nevertheless, it was somewhere in there with a, with a triple-double. We love that. And, um, you know, Torian Prince shot well from behind the arc, 3 out of 4. He had 15 points. Um, got double digits out of uh, uh, my guy... Uh, What's his name? My mind is going blank. Uh, but nevertheless, we had plenty of players play well. Uh, Jackson Hayes played fantastic. I don't even remember what stats he had. But Dinwiddie is who I'm trying to remember. He had, uh, I believe, seven rebounds, double-digit points. Fantastic stuff going on down there for the Lakers, man. 44 rebounds. That's another 44 for you. Um, we shot 54% from both the three and the field, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how that went. Uh, 18 out of 33 maybe from the three again fuzzy stats forgive me but we were fantastic shooting the three ball at one point we were like nine out of 11 in the third quarter or something crazy like that we just could not miss now we did let the Grizzlies back in the game they kept attacking uh, but you know ultimately we were able to keep them at bay and, and get the victory and uh, you know you got to give credit to their guys man Z Z what's his name uh, Jake Jake LaRavia uh, had over 20 points tonight uh he he definitely went to work to get like five rebounds six assists or something like that you got to give credit to desmond bain we walked out of there with 16 assists which is his career high i don't remember exactly how many points he had but over 25 i believe um and he had a huge assist game against us last time too i think he had 14 in the last one so yeah he's trying to you know do his best lebron james impression when Bron comes to town that's what i gather uh, and, and he likes to flagrant foul LeBron, too, even though they don't call it that. He did that at least twice tonight. I wasn't a fan of some of the fouls that LeBron was taking off from that dude. But nevertheless, uh, you know, it is what it is. He also has to take that L and go along with all that uh, physical play. So, you know, I thought our team played really well for the most part. I would have loved to see us play a lot better from the, from the defensive side of the ball. But... Um, Ultimately, shooting the ball that well, I mean, you can't go wrong. When the team is giving you rhythm threes and you hit them like you did tonight, you feel great. I don't remember exactly what D'Lo's stats were either, unfortunately, but he did have a fantastic shooting night, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, contributed quite a bit. His game was loud out there. So, yeah, man, that was great. That was a great win, especially given the fact that we were off a of back-to-back. Guys showed up. Plus and minuses were fantastic tonight. If you look at bronze, plus and minus, and Ruiz, plus and minus, it was over 30 um just just a great overall win i think austin's uh plus minus was fantastic as well so if i'm gonna give the game ball to anybody i gotta give it to lebron james uh with miss triple dub showing up tonight uh he was aggressive he was picking his spots every time they doubled he'd find open man and we would shoot it down it was just a terrific three-point shooting night for our team and LeBron had a lot to do with that also you got to give Rui his credit, man. I mean, his career high is 36. He had 32 tonight. And he, like I said, he's a grizzly killer. I said that at halftime. And that's what he's turning out to be. Every time he sees that team, his light he lights up and just plays way better uh, than he normally does. And we love it, man. And we're going to need it to continue because we have to see them again in the second-to-last basketball game back in that building. So, yeah, man. Oof, I got to get it a nap so I, my head could stop hurting so this video ain't gonna be as long as the others usually is but i was paying attention just now to the okc thunder and the rockets and they just went into overtime and um golden state won their game against the orlando magic so we're keeping an eye open for all these other teams around us the suns are playing the denver nuggets right now last i checked they were up in that game so we're keeping our eyes open man and uh hopefully we can continue to win man it's a five game winning streak for the lakers man we're kicking tail doing what we need to do to just beat all these teams that are that are ultimately winnable uh, teams to beat against, if that makes any sense at all. But we're, these are winnable games, and we're taking care of business, and we're doing it in in a lot of, you know, in a, in a scoring like fashion. I guess is what I could say. Our team was really 
scoring the ball these last couple of games. And um, you got to appreciate it, man. 132 points dropped on the Grizzlies' head, man. It's not that they're a great defensive team, but you do have Jaron Jackson out there who fouled quite a bit tonight, if I may say so myself. He seemed like he should have fouled out. But, um, yeah, man, Jake LaRavia made a name for himself against us. So did some kid named Jero. He also played very well with the minutes given. I think he's at the end of a second 10-day. I'm pretty sure they'll pick him back up. Um, so, yeah, man, I thought, you know, it's one of those situations where you just wish you played better defense, uh, but you love the fact that you shot so very well. And that three ball was, was raining all night long, and, and I'm sure the Grizzlies are going to have nightmares about that. So, yeah, man, that's where my head is. That is where my head is. Besides the throbbing pain I have and a slight fever I got, I'm pretty happy because this team is going to work, man, and taking care of business on this road trip. We're 2-0 and on this road trip with the Pacers coming up um, in a day from now. A day from now, I think the game is probably like 4.30 or something like that, 4 o'clock. And... Uh, of course, we'll have everything ready for you come that game. We'll talk about the Lakers, of course, between now and then. But taking care of business, man, that's what it really comes down to. You're not supposed to lose to the Grizzlies, even though Brandon Clark decided he was going to make his return tonight. And, of course, guys like Jake LaRavia and Jerome and Desmond Bain want to have his assist career high and all different types of stuff that only comes around when the Lakers are in town. The Detroit Pistons are going to be their next team. We can look at those stats. I guarantee you them dudes ain't going to play half that good against the Pistons. They only want to wake up against us, these teams. I'm getting sick of it, too. But nevertheless, them waking up still wasn't good enough to beat us. John Moran is far from coming back, and they needed him. And so we're happy he wasn't there. And um, we're, we're pleased with how this game turned out, man. Uh, Jackson Hayes really played well, man. He really did. He had a double-digit scoring night tonight. I don't remember exactly what it was, of course. But uh, from what the announcers said, uh, he hadn't scored in double figures since early February. So we're really proud of him. His development is looking good. And one thing I like about his game that he's starting to show me is that he has court vision. He could pass the rock, man. Um, he's been making some really nice dimes over the past couple of games. And I think his contributions have really helped, especially without AD out there, him going to work, taking care of the easy ones and finding the open man. And just making good interior passes in general. I really love his passing game. And I never thought in a million years that he had that. But he does. And uh, I think he's going to develop into a center who can make passes happen consistently. He's probably going to develop into someone who can get a triple-double someday. Uh, so I see that coming. I definitely see that coming. His floor vision is well above average for a player, uh, his position at his level. So... Excited about his development. Um, even though he doesn't stretch the floor, he can certainly make up for it with that. So, And I thought we saw some good defensive sequences from him as well. I thought Austin Reeves' defense is much improved over the last two weeks. Um, Rui Hachimura uh, rebounding the ball in the way that he did. We like that. Uh, what is that, 24 rebounds in the last two games for him? And um, I, like I said, he, I don't think he missed but one three-point shot tonight. He had to have hit at least six or seven of them. So, I mean... You talk about Rui Hachimura being a much improved three-point shooter. Um, he, he's been tremendous, man. So we can see the development of some of these players, man. And one thing I do like about what Darvin Ham runs is our identity looking to score in the paint and, and, and then from there, from the inside out, shoot the three ball. Even though we shoot at such a fantastic percentage, rarely do the Lakers overshoot the three. And I think it makes for a great balance because you can always count on us getting to the line with our aggression. So if that's a Darwin philosophy thing, it's one of the best things about having Darwin as your coach. And it's also how the team is constructed. I, I do like that. You don't have to overshoot the three just because you shoot at a high percentage. It's that you shoot them as reluctantly as you do that you get such open shots because you attack the paint so much. As a result, you get better looks than most teams do. So we're not just down there jacking up threes, and I think it works in our favor. Um and most of the time, it really does. So I love our identity in that way, and I wanted to put that out there. Also, um, I was forced to listen to the Memphis Grizzlies announcers with the link that I had, and I thought they called a very clean game, man. I complain about announcers when I listen to other teams a lot of the time, but tonight it was actually a pleasure listening to those guys out in Memphis. So shout out to them. They really were good tonight. So, yeah, man, that's really what it is, man. That's exactly what I have to say. I enjoyed this game. It made my headache that much easier to live with. And I hope I gave you guys the quality that you're used to from me, even though my head is, is not great. 
Uh, but all in all, I want to give the game ball, as if I haven't said this already, to LeBron James with Miss Triple Dub showing up to town to help the L.A. Lakers get the victory. That five-game winning streak, trying to get a little separation from Houston and Golden State, even though Golden State won their game in Houston. Well, we'll see what they're doing right now. So that's pretty much what I got to say, man. Now I'm going to go lay it down. Hopefully wake up feeling much better than I do right now. But that's what I got for you, BDL44. Lakers win, baby. I'm out.